We have now a snapshot of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere every day by putting them day after day after day like a sequence, you begin to see how the carbon dioxide is moving and we observe its transport or movement from Asia across the Pacific to North America, then across the Atlantic to Europe, across all of Asia, back again. There's no country, no piece of land on the face of this planet which is immune from the effect of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a global problem. It affects every piece of land on the face of this planet, whether that piece of land produces carbon dioxide or not. Carbon dioxide is an elusive gas. You know, if you put it in the atmosphere, you don't see it. So you have to be able to look at different wavelengths and you have to use a variety of witnesses, I call them. Airs is one witness. In the future, we are going to have other instruments that will witness the uh, activities of carbon dioxide from one angle, another instrument will look at it from a third angle. When you have the three witnesses together, you begin to be able to track this uh, culprit elusive gas. acid rain or is there a correlation to that? Yes, you know, certain areas where you have carbon dioxide emitted, uh, the circulation uh, goes from west to east. That's just how weather systems are known. And we observe the carbon dioxide below the these two going around the globe from Okay, anytime.